I was in between condemnation and trusting God's love. I was in a relationship that didn't have the fruit of righteousness. Then I was ordained the church pastor. Was I ready? I will say I wasn't because I couldn't differentiate between relying on the finished work of Christ and struggling to become righteous. I woke up almost every day with a heavy heart, with the question in my spirit, in my heart, if Jesus returned today, I don't think I can make it. Then one of those days, a young man approached me. He said he needed to speak with me on a personal issue. He was tearing and his spiritual life. When he finished his story, I saw a man with a sincere heart who loved God but had some drawbacks that hindered his service to God with a perfect action, even though his heart was perfect. We prayed together, led him to accept Jesus Christ as his personal Savior and the baptism of the Holy Spirit took place. That night, I had the same attack he complained about, but I got up to pray. I was scared because of it was so real. The next morning, I received a call from a senior, a more senior pastor to accompany him to identify a body at the, at the mortuary. Lo and behold, it was this same young man. I became broken, scared, and searched for tears. There was none coming out. His body was laid down lifeless. This young man was very handsome and fair in nature, but was already becoming black and swollen. My heart was heavy because I didn't know what to say. Now I think about it after 12 years and I'm just realizing the Holy Spirit did not let me, did not let me through my condemnation deny a young man whose time was so short from accepting Jesus Christ. And that is why I'm saying to you, today is the day. Take that decision. You can't postpone it. Jesus Christ did not die for the righteous, but for sinners. Matthew 15, 24 says, Jesus wasn't sent, but to the lost soul of Israel. Romans 5, 8 also says, But God commended his love towards us, that in while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. If the young man, Bartholomew, delayed coming out, maybe it will have been too late for him. Now is the day of salvation. 1 John 1 9 says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. All unrighteousness. No one is beyond redemption. You can come to him right now. His blood does not select who can be made clean and whole. Let your heart accept his call. 1 Timothy 2 4 says, Who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth? Please say this if you are ready. Lord Jesus, I know I am a sinner and I cannot help myself. I therefore come to you. Please help and accept me into your fold. I accept you into my life as my Lord and personal Savior Jesus Christ. If you have said that prayer, I can tell you that you are made whole. You are made whole. Say to yourself, now I am saved. Praise the Lord.